Hope you guys have some here. And Thor, Love and Thunder is absolutely fantastic. I don't really get why a lot of critics are saying that this movie is bad. Because I, it's, it's not. <laughs> I don't know. I've just seen a lot of critics saying this movie is not good. And I'm like, it's, it is though. <laughs> At least to me. I, I absolutely loved it. I adore this movie. I thought it was fucking fantastic. Uh, so let's get into it. Eric Selvig is in this movie. He's only got like three lines, but... It's funny because in my Thor The Dark World fan commentary that I just did, I said in it, the actor who plays Eric Selvig, I said, you know, the actor said he was only he was contracted for one more movie, and then he shows up in this. I was like, oh, that's funny. I just talked about that, but he's barely in it. Darcy's in a scene. That was cool to see her. Love Thor. This movie is hilarious, by the way. This movie is so funny. There's a line. Oh, spoilers, by the way. Spoilers, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But Thor, there's a scene... Uh, where Gore is like, call the axe. And Thor is like, maybe you should call a dentist. I was dead, bro. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. This movie was hilarious, dude. I laughed so many times. Um, oh, There was another good... Oh, when Sif is in the movie, she's barely in it, but she's in it. It was cool to see her. But when her arm is chopped off and he, he sees her, he goes, maybe your arm is in Valhalla because she talks about <laughs> Um, also, they had me worried that Thor was gonna die. I was so worried. I was like, because they kept saying to Thor along something along the lines of, you know, just don't die. And usually when a character, they say, hey, you know, don't die, that character fucking dies. Usually, so I'm like, oh, they're just foreshadowing Thor's gonna die. And, hmm. you know, I get so stressed out watching this shit when I think a character's gonna die. When I, Okay, spoilers for Stranger Things Season 4. When I was watching that show, for like when I was watching season four, for the first time, I've seen it like twice now, but like for the first time, I was so stressed out that Steve was gonna die. I'm like, please don't kill Steve, please don't kill Steve. Like, genuine stress. And this movie, genuine stress. I'm like, don't kill Thor, don't kill Thor, don't kill Thor. And it, it sucks that I'm, I get like that, but I don't care because I'm, I just, I am who I am. I just love these movies and I get attached to this shit. I just love it. But, I'm like, oh, why is this Thor? Don't kill Thor. I'm going to start crying. But Thor doesn't die. Thank goodness. And neither did Steve in Jonathan Gaines' War. Thank Christ, because Steve is my favorite character. I love him so much. And don't kill him in season five. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay? Please. I'm begging you. Also, bring Eddie back. Like, what the fuck? Agreed. Like, please? Um, yeah, so Korg and Thor, Korg lives, thank Christ, and Korg lives, thank Christ, but I really thought Korg was gonna die, because whenever Zeus crumbles him, first of all, I was like, Zeus, I hate you now, what the fuck, but Korg crumbles, and I'm sitting there like, they did not just kill Korg, like, what the fuck, but thankfully, he doesn't die, thank Christ, it's just his face for a little bit, and then at the end of the movie, it was so funny, because he talks about how, um, the Cronins, I think, is his, I think that's their name, what Korg is, and what that dude from the Dark World is that dies. Um, he says how they, like, reproduce, I guess, and he says two guys hold hands in a lava pool, and, like, a month later, a baby comes out, and he goes, and then I made a baby with this guy I met called Dylan. I think his name was Dylan. Was it Dylan? And he had a mustache. That was cool. I hope that they are in movies together, them two, and their kid. That'd be awesome. That was really cool. I was like, this is great. I really hope that that little family of Korgs. Korg, I think his name was Dylan, whatever they named their kid. I, I want I want to see it. I want that to happen. Come on, Marvel. You know you want to. Um, I thought Valkyrie was dead, too. When Gore stabbed her, I was like, Valkyrie's fucking dead. But no, she lives. Again, thank goodness. Um, Gore was, um, Gore was a great villain, by the way. Christian Bale gives it his all. He's just a great actor. Christian Bale is just a fantastic actor. He kills it in everything. Even in American Psycho, which, again, I thought of when he chops that guy's head off in the beginning. I thought of American Psycho. Because he chops Paul Allen's head. He chops Morbius' head off. Um, but he chopped Paul Allen's head off, which you don't see the head come off in the movie, but they say he chopped his head off. But you see the head come off in this because his blood's all, like, gold and shit. Like, oh. uh, he chopped his head off. I was like, shit. Are you okay, Patrick Bateman? Gore Bateman? Gore the... God, Patrick Bateman, American Psycho, American Gore, Gore Psycho, Psycho Gorman, 
No. Um, yeah, he's, he's a great villain. He dies at the end. Uh, so, yeah. He's great. He's just great. He kills that for all the bunch gods. Um, but Jane, oh, Jane fucking dies. Which, that was sad as shit. I was like, I didn't think that she was gonna die. Because they say Mjolnir is making her die quicker, which was very sad. That scene with them on the boat, dude, that scene was so, like, bro. Because he tells Jane, he's like, I want to live my life with you. I love you. And Jane's like, I have cancer. And Thor's just like, what? Like, and she's like, I, she, she even goes, what, I mean, what? I'm just kidding, I don't. And Thor's just like, when did you find out? She's like, six months ago, I'm in stage four. And Thor's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, this is so sad. I'm like, what the fuck? This is, this is horrible. What are you doing to me? This is horrible. But, um, it was a great scene. Like, the ad, they were, they were, the acting in that scene was just so good. Just Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman were killing it. I was like, damn. And you learn Mjolnir is killing her faster. And at the end of the movie, he's like, I'm gonna go kill Gore. And she's like, you're not taking me with you. And he's like, no, I, you need to stay here. I want you to live. And she's like, what happened to living life like there's no tomorrow? And he said, well, I meant that until you might not have one. And I'm like, damn. And she's not gonna go until Mjolnir is like, hey. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she, she helps and then she dies. And I was like, wow, this is, wow. And she, like, she turns into the shit Odin turned into in Ragnarok. And she's in the credit scene. She goes to Valhalla. And Heimdall was there. That was cool. I just I just didn't expect Heimdall to be in this. So when he showed up, I was like, oh, hey. I was excited. I love Heimdall. I was like, oh, shit. That's cool. I love Idris Elba. And honestly, I wouldn't mind if he was in more Marvel movies. I was like, oh, hey. I missed him. I forgot how much I missed him. I was like, oh, hey. Good to see him again. Um... Yeah, so they throw a, they, Zeus through the heart, and he lives somehow. Um, the black and white scene was really cool. I really like that scene, because they go to that planet, and it's black and white, but when, because the, they say it's so dark, like there's no color there, but when Jane uses Mjolnir to produce light, the color is on her. That was really cool, or like when they're fighting and like lightning is going, like it flashes by that the color on them. That was cool. I was like, I really enjoyed that scene. Of that that was really really cool and but they leave and gore takes stormbreaker he's like this is my no also i like how thor and stormbreaker and you'll never like in like a a love triangle or something that was funny he was like let me let me, let me call me and then stormbreaker comes around the corner like huh and then when he's talking about the lightning bolt and the ship starts to rattle. I was like, this, I thought it was funny. I heard some people complaining about that. I thought it was funny. I was in it. Even though there's a part where uh, he's talking to Stormbreaker. Hey, we good? It's before the scene I was talking about earlier. And he's, he pours beer on it. And because he's like, I'm going to get here's your first beer. Because he can talk to Mjolnir and Stormbreaker, I guess. And they can talk back to him. I guess he can communicate with him somehow. But... It was funny, but when he poured beer on it, I, I'm not even going to lie to you. I expected maybe the ship to, like, start moving back and forth, like, rattling. And, like, the bridge that it was making to, like, not be there in some parts. So it would, like, fall up and down. Because, I don't know, it seemed like an obvious joke to me with how the, the jokes in the movie were. I was like, you know, maybe that would happen. But it didn't. I thought that would have been pretty funny, though. But, yeah. And, um... Let's see, let's see, let's see where we at, where we at. There's a scene with Gore, and he fucking tears the thing's head off, and he just holds it. That was kind of cool. Gore was just, he was just such a great villain, bro. But at the end of the movie, I'm trying to think if there's anything I missed that I should talk about, but I think we're good. Matt Damon's in it again, and Sam Neill and all of them. That was a cool scene. Oh, the Guardians of the Galaxy, I didn't talk about them. They're in this movie. They were really good. They were barely in it. I mean, it's a Thor movie. You wouldn't expect them to be in a lot, but I like seeing them. They're, they're always fun to see the Guardians of the Galaxy. I love them. Um, it was cool, and they were really funny in the scenes that they were in. Uh, Thor, we need your help. Oh, Thor, fuck it. Thor rides his hammer like the fucking Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz. I was like, or like, 
just any witch really that was really funny i don't know why that killed me just as soon as he did that shit i was just dead i was like yeah this movie this is it right here but like fucking that shit was hilarious um i gotta say though after i saw the movie which was today i was like was that better than ragnarok i might have liked it better than ragnarok but for now i'm gonna say i didn't i'm gonna say my thor ranking is thor dark world ragnarok or uh love thunder ragnarok which i'm gonna say i still love every thor movie i think they're all great i really do but Thor Love and Thunder is probably in my fifth favorite Marvel movie, which is after my fourth favorite, which is Ragnarok. I don't know, though. Shang-Chi Legend of the Ring is pretty great. I put that above Love and Thunder. I don't know. I gotta think about it more. I don't know. But, end of the movie. They fight gore. All the kids have lightning powers, which is kind of cool. They're fighting these monsters. Thought the monsters were cool. Shadow monsters were cool. I like them. They're fighting. They're fucking lightning and shit. And... Gore gets the guy's like, I'm gonna make my wish, which I was assuming he was gonna do a House of M type shit, no more mutants. I was like, like no more gods. But Thor's like, hey, don't fucking, or no, no, actually. He's like, no, Gore, stop. I'm, I, I'm, uh, monologue, superhero monologue. And Gore's like, oh, you're right. I wish for my daughter to be back. Oh, I'm dead. Protect her. Okay. So Thor's got a daughter now, basically. Or niece. I guess adopted niece, because she says Uncle Thor. But basically, Thor's got a daughter now. And it was really cute to see Thor interact with her, because he was like... They say early in the movie, Thor goes, I think he'd be a great dad. In this scene, he's a great dad. Thor is such dad energy. He's such a good dad. And, um... Yeah. So, and... He gives her Stormbreaker, so he has Mjolnir again. And, like, honestly, if you ask me, I don't know why he likes Mjolnir more, because I, if you ask me, Stormbreaker is cooler. I do love Mjolnir, though. I like both a lot. But, yeah, so she has Stormbreaker, so I guess she's... You don't have to be worthy of Stormbreaker. I think they say you have to be physically and, what, mentally stable or whatever. So I guess Gore is can lift it, because he does. Um, and she uses it, too. So they both jump up, and Korg is like, and they are love and thunder. So that's why the movie's called Love and Thunder. I thought it was just because him and Jane were falling in love again. But no, it's them. Um, but yeah, that was cool. I like seeing them together. I am really, I really hope that Thor and his daughter are hanging out more in the future movies. Because they were really cool together. And I think Thor is like a great father figure. And the first credit scene is, hey, Zeus is alive, Russell Crowe. And he's also, also add Russell Crowe to the list of many, many actors for both Marvel and DC. Also with Christian Bale now, which is cool. Uh, but he's like, I'm talking to someone, and then it's Hercules. So I guess Hercules is going to be a villain. I'm not well in verse with Hercules in the comics, so I don't know much in the Marvel ones, so I don't know much about him. But I thought he was a good guy, because isn't he in Superhero Squad, which I know isn't a comic book, I know. But I'm th I thought he was a good guy. Maybe he's a bad guy. And then Thor's like, you fucking dumbass. And then goes, okay, I'm good now. Are they going to make a Thor 5? I hope so, because it says Thor will return, which obviously, but maybe they'll make a Thor 5. That'd be kind of cool. Thor's like, I'm the only OG 6th Avenger to get a fourth movie. But, uh, ye. Um, so yeah, credit scene, pretty cool. Excited to see Hercules. I like him as a character from what I know about him. I think he's pretty cool. Uh, second credit scene. Uh, I'm gonna research some Hercules now. But second credit scene is the Valhalla one. And, you know, I got me thinking, Loki's probably there. If you ask me, I'm assuming Loki's in Valhalla. Because he's a good guy now. He died. He's probably in Valhalla. So is Odin. So is Frigga. I'm assuming they're all there. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume. And in my headcanon, Loki's there. But, uh, yes, Thor Love and Thunder was great. Honestly, I'm giving it five stars out of five. I thought it was awesome. I loved it so much. Let me know what you guys thought of Thor Love and Thunder. Did you love it like me or did you not like it? Or were you in between? Are you like, yeah, it's okay. But I loved it. But yeah, guys, please give me a like. Please subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Thunder! Uh, uh, uh. I know that song is not in the movie. I just wanted to say that.